Hey guys, so today I did a tutorial for you all on this look that I'm wearing right now. And it's pretty easy, but I think it really flatters all skin tones, all eye colors. I was gonna say eye tones, I don't think that makes sense, all eye colors. And it's really simple and pretty versatile. So without further ado, let's get started. So as always, I'm going to start off by priming my eye. And here I'm using a Paint Chili Paint Pot by MAC. And I recently started using a brush to apply this as opposed to my fingers, and I really like how it turns out now. Now I'm going to take a little bit of soft brown, which is a matte color from MAC, and I'm going to apply this into my crease as my transition color. And this color is really crucial to help all the other colors blend together. So I'm just taking this on a big fluffy brush and making this nice and light and seamless. I'm now going to go in with one of my favorite colors ever, which I always break out around this time of year, and that is Woodwinked also by MAC. And I'm going to apply this to the center of my lid with a MAC 239 flat shader brush. I'm also going to apply a little bit of that into my crease over top of the soft brown color that I used with a blending brush. Um, this one's a little bit smaller, it's a 217, and I like this one a lot. And then I'm going to go back in with the bigger fluffy blending brush that I used in the beginning to blend out that color. And having woodwinked over top of soft brown is so pretty. It becomes like this bronzy shade with pumpkin undertones, and it, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. I'm also going to smudge a little bit of this in the center of my lower lash line. Now taking this duo from NARS and I'll have all the products linked down below. Um, I'm going to then apply this to the outer and inner sockets of my eye. I'm going to put it a little bit in the middle but I'm going to try and keep that fairly open. And then I'm going to go back in with my blending brush to blend this out and make it seamless. Now this adds a lot of dimension to the look and it really kind of sinks in your eye and makes the wood winged pop and will make the next color that we apply pop as well. So I wouldn't recommend skipping this because it really is crucial to the look and it adds such a pretty contrast from the light gold to the dark gold. I'm going to take that same shade and then apply this onto my lower lash line with a pencil brush and I'm really sorry that it's out of focus. It gets back in focus. I'm just blind when I fill my promise. I'm now going to go in with Sketch from MAC which is easily hands down my favorite color ever from MAC and I'm going to apply this with a 217 which is that smaller crease brush that we used earlier and I'm going to put this on the outer V of my eye. Now this crease brush already does an amazing job of blending out the color, but I'm going to go in a little tiny bit with the big fluffy blending, blending brush and uh, like, you know, blend that out and make it all seamless, you know, whatever. But be very careful with this step because it's very easy to wipe away the wood winked on the lid and also this can get very muddy very quickly so just be careful when you apply this color. I'm also going to smudge a little bit of this onto my lower lash line to deepen up the look and make my lower lashes look more full, fuller, whatever it is. I'm now going to highlight my brow bone and this is with Blanc Type by MAC and this is just going to finish off the eyeshadow. I'm now going to rim my waterline with the NARS Larger Than Life Eyeliner in Via Veneto and then take that same small um, flat shader brush, this is by Coastal Sense, and I'm just going to smudge that black liner onto my lower lash line again to create a fuller lash effect. I'm now going to line my upper lash line with my favorite eyeliner ever, and this is the Stila Stay All Day. I'm also going to wing this out just a little bit. I don't want the main focus of this look to be the winged liner, so I'm going to make it a small one just because I like how wings look with my eyes. I always start off my mascara now by doing my lower lashes first. I don't know why, I just think it looks better in the end. So here I'm going in with my little Clinique bottom lash mascara and applying a lot of mascara to my bottom lashes. And then I'm going to do the same by applying mascara to my top lashes and this is my favorite mascara ever. It's Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. After the eyes are done, I'm going to move on to my face and I first contour with this huge brush by Coastal Sense and the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, my favorite bronzer ever. It just warms up your complexion and looks beautiful. Now I'm going to go in with this blush from Bobbi Brown in the shade Sandy Pink and apply this to the apples and work it back to my temples. For lips, I'm first going to line my lips with the NYX lip liner in the shade Natural. This has become my like go-to lip liner. I love this lip liner. It turned out to be a little bit too brown for this look, so I just went in a little bit with a pink lipstick by YSL and then finished the look off with my standard gloss that I use, which is Walk of Shame by Herb Decay Naked. 
So thanks so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to give the video a thumbs up so I know that you guys want more holiday makeup tutorials. Maybe I'll do a New Year's Eve one. Let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in seeing that. Be sure to stay updated with me in between each upload by following me on my social media links such as Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and like my Facebook page. They're all linked down below as always. Also make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss another video because I upload every Thursday and Sunday. So thanks so much again for watching and I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye!